Alright, ladies and gentlemen, here's the function. f of x equals x squared plus 4x minus 5. That lets me know that a is 1, b is 4, and c is a negative 5. One question I've already answered. When a function's in, a parabolic function, a quadratic function's in this form, the value of c gives you the y-intercept, so we automatically know the y-intercept is the ordered pair 0, comma, negative 5, so that part's done. To locate the vertex, x is equal to the opposite of b over 2a. That would be the opposite of 4 over 2 times 1, and that's a negative 2. To find the y-coordinate, we plug negative 2 into the function. We get negative 2 quantity squared plus 4 times negative 2 minus 5. This would be 4 minus 8 minus 5. Oh, let's see, 4 minus 8 is negative, 4 minus 5 is negative 9. So my vertex, I'll write with it as a V, is the ordered pair negative 2 comma negative 9. My y-intercept is the ordered pair 0, negative 5. Now remember, easy to find because when a function's written in this form, ax squared plus bx plus c, to find the y-intercept you let x be 0. Well, if these disappear, this becomes, you know, the y-intercept. So you can always tell that by looking at c. But remember, when you write it, don't just write negative 5. Write 0, comma, negative 5. Now, to find the x-intercepts, we have a little bit more work. The x-intercepts are where the y-value is 0. And again, you write them as ordered pairs. Well, if there are x-intercepts, the way you're going to find them is you take the function, which is x squared plus 4x minus 5, and you find its zeros. In other words, you set the function, the y-value, equal to 0. This equation factors, this part of this equation, you know, the, the algebraic part factors, as x plus 5 quantity and then quantity x minus 1. What would make this 0 is an is a x value of negative 5. What would make this 0 is an x value of 1. So we have two x-intercepts the ordered pair negative 5, 0, and the ordered pair 1, 0. Now, one of the things I want to point out to you, y-intercepts written as an ordered pair starting with 0, x-intercepts are written as ordered pairs ending with 0. Okay? Sketch this graph. Okay. The vertex is the ordered pair negative 2, negative 9. Negative 2, negative 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So my vertex is down here. Okay? Negative 2, negative 9. My y-intercept is 0, negative 5. Negative 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Put a dot there. My, one of my x-intercepts is 1, 0, right there, and the other is negative 5, 0. Negative 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, okay? And when I create the, when I draw the graph, I make the u happen at the vertex. I cross the y-axis right there at negative 5. I touch the x-axis here. I also touch the x-axis here. So, the vertex, the y-intercept, and the two x-intercepts helped me get my sketch. And we'll continue the remainder of this question in a minute. But this video got us going because it at least got us the graph. We use the vertex formula to get the vertex. We found the y-intercept pretty easily. We had a little bit of work to do to find the x-intercepts. You mainly just locate the zeros of the function, and we put it all on our graph.